G'day viewers. Uh, today I'm going to show you what not to do with your solar system. This is honestly one of the worst systems I've ever seen installed. And this is the house I'm living in. So um, I've agreed with the owner that I'll fix it. Um, it's <laughs> pretty bad. Got eight panels here uh, hooked up to a 1500 watt inverter that has failed. Uh, and it failed because of this little problem here. The uh, installers in their wisdom had this conduit sitting down in the uh, furrow or the gutter of the corrugated roof and all the water went down this conduit and uh, decided to fill up the uh, isolator box, the PV isolator box. And here's the isolator and as you can see uh, the left hand pole um, has been damaged by electrolysis and you see a bit of uh, mud and water staining on this conductor. Uh, that was a negative, that was a positive coming in and they were looped at the top so you've got two poles in series on each leg. Four pole general electric, very high quality isolator with auxiliary contacts there. Um, they're about 200 and something dollars but completely ruined uh, cut its life very short and eight panels to provide 1500 watts so this installation uh, only provided power for about four hours a day uh, and what we've got here is six panels that uh, 275 watts each and they, they're doing 1650 watts way more than the eight panels here but that's just uh, an upgrade due to uh, you know, progress and evolution of the systems but we're going to put a, a weatherproof box on the end of this and uh, maybe make it a combiner box uh, replace these panels with something more efficient but this lot here only gets sun for about four hours a day they don't really start producing till about 11 30 because they're on the western side of the roof so it's not good and in their wisdom these installers i'll tell you who it was it was unleash solar they went out of business uh, owing lots of money and leaving lots of people in the dark literally and there's a big tree so the sun goes behind that tree at about 3.30 and you don't get any uh, you get severe shading on the end panels which drops the power down dramatically whereas these one this is on the northern facing um, veranda roof and they start producing by 7 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. depending on the time of year and they produce right around to 3.30 as well but you get a lot more power out of those panels there. But I just thought I'd uh, show you a crappy install. Uh, they did some things right, they got the uh, roof penetration right, that's over the veranda not over the main roof so if it did leak it, it's going to be external to the main dwelling and yeah it's just overall crap install i'm basically going to have to rewire most of it um, waterproof it a bit better and just put a bigger inverter in uh, with a high i've got a hybrid inverter hooked up already you might know that's working fantastic on these small panels and i've got the back roof the eastern facing roof we're going to whack another probably another eight panels there maybe another 16 and then on the southern roof which will catch the afternoon sun we're going to put another bank of solar panels there so probably end up with somewhere between 20 to 30 panels on the roof and hopefully be um not so grid reliant uh, it's very important i have ups power uninterrupted power supply um, and we do get frequent blackouts here at least once a month we get glitches in the power sometimes it goes off for hours sometimes only just a few minutes but if you're working on a, a, a large project that needs continuous power it's imperative to uh, have a reliable power system I just thought I'd share that with you, what not to do with your solar panels. Try and avoid shading at all costs. We won't 
cut any trees down. We like the trees for the uh, not only the greenery, but they uh, in Australia you need uh, you need shade in the summer, and that tree provides a, a lot of cool shade for the um, front of the house in the afternoon sun. But it's absolutely detrimental to the solar install. Anyway, I thought I'd share it with you. Cheers, beers, and all that big ears. Uh, we'll catch you on the next video.